Hi, this is Father Jim Martin, Culture Editor of America Magazine. And guess what? It's Lent again, believe it or not. Which means the age-old question in the spiritual life, what am I going to give up for Lent, is going to pop up in your spiritual life. So here at America Magazine, we'd like to invite you, rather, instead of giving things up, to do something a little positive. So my advice, my overall advice, uh, is two words. And they're really at the heart of the Christian message. You ready? The two words are, be kind. I think that really sums up a lot of the Christian message. Now here are three ways of being kind. Number one, don't be a jerk. I know that sounds obvious, but here's the point. You're tired, you're sick, your boss just did something that uh, made you nuts, things are tough at uh, your family, you're late for work. That doesn't mean you have to pass along your misery to everybody else. Once I was joking with a friend of mine and I said, oh, my life is such a cross. And he said, really? For you or for others? Don't pass along your misery. Number two in our ways of being kind, honor the absent. In other words, stop talking about people behind their backs. Nothing I think is so damaging to our own spiritual lives as denigrating another person. It's a really serious form of uncharity. And of course, it can make the other person feel miserable. Third, here's a little bit of advice from St. Ignatius. Always give people the benefit of the doubt. He talks about that in his spiritual exercises. When there's a doubt about how someone means something or what someone does, give them the plus sign. So be kind this Lent in three ways. Don't be a jerk, honor the absent, and give people the benefit of the doubt. And believe me, it's a lot harder than giving up chocolates, but it'll be a lot better for your spiritual life and for everyone else's. For America Magazine, this is Father Jim Martin. God bless you.